Hi children. Today you are going to learn the very important topic that is a mensurations of class tenth and the surface areas and volumes of class nine. Both are not a different chapter. Both are same chapter, but they have given a different in the name. Mensuration in the sense measuring of the solid figures, measuring the dimensions of a solid figures. Your surface areas and volumes. What will measure here? Will measure the surface areas and volumes of the solid figures. That is called mensurations. Are not surface areas and volumes. In this, both are very similar chapters. That means if you are perfect in the ninth class of surface areas and volumes, then you not to be looked back in the tenth class in the mensuration chapter. So here in the mensuration chapter, we'll be discussing about the three-dimensional figures, solid figures. What are called as solid figures? Like three-dimensional figures: cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, sphere, hemisphere, and also we'll learn about the prism and pyramid. About these things, we'll be discussing here about the eight solid figures. So in these eight figures, what we are going to find out? What are the kind of surface areas will be there? What is meaning of a surface area? Means? What is the meaning of a surface area? The flat area is known as the surface areas. The flat areas on an object that is called surface area. What is the meaning of volume? The object which can be hold in the 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 things which can be hold in an object that is called volume. Suppose uh, this is a, a this is a room. Suppose in this room. Here, the area of these walls, area of these walls, are called as the surface areas. Area of the wall, if you find out, there is a surface area, and area of this floor is a surface area. Area of the top is also a surface area, a flat surface area. What is meaning of volume? The things which can keep in this, that is called volume. That means if you fill this room with the rice paddy bags, a paddy bags or some. With the books or some materials, if you keep and fill up this, so how many things you can fill in this room to completely fill this room? How many things you can keep it in this? That is called volume. Suppose if you have a matchbox, what is the matchbox uh, volume of the matchbox? The number of matchsticks we can keep in the matchbox is known as the volume of the matchbox. Okay, you have a compact box which is in the shape of a cube. Right? What is the Volume of that compact box, geometric box, the things we can fill up in this, that is called volume of the compact box. Suppose we have a lorry. Suppose there is a one lorry. What is the volume of the lorry? The number of bags we can fill in the lorry that is known as the volume of the lorry. So that is the overall we can tell the things which I keep inside of the object is known as the volume. So the surface areas will be two types. We have to learn what kind of surface areas will be there. There are mainly two kinds of surface areas. One is lateral surface area, or what it is also called as a sometimes curved surface area. L S A. It is a lateral surface area, or what curved surface area. Lateral or curved. C S A. The meaning of this lateral surface area. Lateral. Surface area or curved surface area. Curved surface area. Curved surface area. Lateral surface area or curved surface area. Both are same only. For some figures, there will be curved surface areas. You can see in the cylinders and cone and sphere and hemisphere, there will be some curved surface areas. Lateral surface area means is flat surface area. Flat surface area where cube and cube bars and this pyramids will be having flat surface areas. And here, how to find out the lateral surface area? What is meaning of lateral surface area? The area of four walls of a room, the area of four sides of a matchbox, the area of four sides of a book is known as a lateral surface area. Lateral surface area. If you find out the area of these four walls of this room. It is known as the lateral surface area of this room. Yes. To find out the lateral surface area, there is the formula. 
So what is the formula to find out the lateral surface area? Here the formula is you need to be remember that is perimeter of the base into height. Perimeter of the base into height. This is the formula for finding lateral surface area. Just remember this formula and I will explain every problem by using this formula. Okay. There are 24 formulas. So in the 24 formulas, this formula will help us to find out the lateral surface area. So for every object, how to find out the lateral surface area? Let me be, let it be any solid figure and this the formula will helpful to do the lateral surface area. That is perimeter of the base into height. Then next to total surface area. Total surface area, TSA. We used to write only a shortcut in the problems, but we have to remember what is the full form of it. TSA that is total surface area. The total surface area. Total surface area in this what? How to find out the total surface area of this row? It can be find out lateral surface area, area of the four walls plus area of the end surface areas. Area of end surface areas. 2 into area of end surfaces. 2 into area of end surfaces. Because here along with the lateral surface area, along with the lateral surface area, along with the area of four walls, place area of the bottom and area of the top. Area of the two end surface areas will give us the total surface area. So total surface area formula, lateral surface area plus 2 into area of end surface. Area end surface. 1 and 2. So 2 into area of end surface. That is called total surface area. Let it be any solid figure to find out the total surface area. This is the formula. Lateral surface area, whatever the lateral surface area will get, here you have to write and we have to add the area end surface areas also. Then we go for finding value. Here surface areas is classified into two types. One is lateral surface area or curved surface area. Then the second one is total surface area. Yes, the surface areas will be two types. Lateral surface area and total surface. Then the value, the third one is here value we need to go for. Okay. And third, how to find out the value? As I already I told you what is the value. So what is the value of this marker? What is the value of this marker now? The value of marker here, the ink can be flowed in this. The ink, the capacity of this marker. The capacity, easily we can remember the word of capacity. The capacity of this marker is known as the value of this marker. What is the capacity of water bottle? The water which can fill in the water bottle. That is the volume. That is the capacity of water bottle. Yes. The capacity of a, a lorry or capacity of a water tank or petrol tanks. We can see the petrol tanks which can run, uh, will go through the petrol tanks and it will uh, give a petrol to the petrol tanks. No? The petrol tanks you might be seen. Uh, very big tanks will be carrying on the lorries. The petrol tanks will be in the shape of a cylinder if you observe and what is the volume of that petrol tank that means we have to find out the volume of cylinder first okay then volume in the sense you might be understood that that's nothing but a capacity how to find out the volume of any object any solid object this is a formula now you find out area of the base area of the base into height area of the base into height here lateral surface area and curved surface area formula perimeter of the base into height. So what is the value formula? Area of the base into height. Here perimeter for lateral surface area, area for the value. These things you need to be remembered. And these are the things you have to write first in before the starting these chapters. Then later we will discuss about the formulas. We will discuss about the formulas. Just remember this. Things, the formulas you need to remember. How to find out the lateral surface area? The perimeter of the base into height. Total surface area, lateral surface area plus area of end surface areas. And balance is area of the base into height. These formulas you need to be remember. And this will be help us to 
solve the problems. Here, let's discuss about the formulas. The first one is cube. Cube. Let me draw a cube. Here, the cube is made up with the squares keeping one on another. All the square shape of papers, if you keep one on another, it will be a, a cube shape. You might be seeing a Rubik's cube where all the squares, all the sides will be in the square shape. All the sides, there are six faces and there are eight vertices and twelve edges for the cube. Six faces, eight vertices and twelve edges, edges in the sides. This line segments, that is known as edges. So, for all solid figures, will be having length, breadth, height. But here, the length, breadth, height will be same for the cube. Because a cube is made up with a square, where square all the sides are equal. Here, length is also a, a and a and a. L equal to length equal to a units, breadth equal to a units, height also will be equal to a units. Only. So let us find out here the three formulas of lateral surface area. Here lateral surface area will get because flat surface is. What is the formula of lateral surface area? Perimeter of the base into height. Perimeter of the base into height. height. So what is the perimeter of the base? What is the base here? The base in the shape of a square. The base in the shape of a Square. The perimeter of the square formula, the perimeter of the square formula 4a, here side, 4 into side. So the side is a units. So 4 into a. The 4a is the perimeter of the base. The base in the shape of a square. So perimeter of the square is 4a into height. What is the height of this cube? That is a units. So here 4a into a, that is 4a square. And this is the formula of the lateral surface area of the cube. See, that formula will help us to find out the formulas. Lateral surface area of a cube is 4a square. Then total surface area. The total surface area equal to what? As I told, lateral surface area plus 2 into area of end surface areas. End surface areas. End surface. So, here lateral surface area already we got 4a square plus here 2 into here 2 into area of end surface yes. 2 into area of end surface the areas of end here in the square shape and top also in this square shape the area of square here we have done area of here square and area of one more square here. that's why I have done 2 into end surface the end surface areas are both are square only so 2 into the area of square now that is side into side that is side square that is a into a is a square. So let us side here 4a square plus 2 into a square that is 2a square that equal to 6a square and this is a formula of the total surface area of this cube that is 6a square. Then we go for value we go for the value. So, what is the value of the cube? What is the value of the cube? Here, value of the cube formula. So, value formula we have area of the base into height. Area of the base into height. Area of the base. The area of the base. The base is the shape of a square. So, area of the square is side into side. That is side square. A square into height. The height is A units. So, A a square into a that is a cube and this is the formula of volume of the cube the volume of the cube is a cube the volume of the cube is a cube here we got the lateral surface area of this cube is 4a square by doing perimeter of the base into height and the total surface area of the cube is lateral surface area plus 2 into area of end surface areas volume area of the base into height Okay, by using the same formulas, we can also go for the cubes. That means in the problems, if you remember only lateral surface area of a cube, 4a square, total surface area of the cube, 6a square, and what is the value of the cube? A cube. If you are able to remember these formulas, that's enough. 
But if at all you did not get remember at the examination time, and these are the formulas will help us to find out the formula. These are the main formulas will help us to find out the formula directly. Let okay or not? Let us go for here. The same formulas will help us to find out. Here we have taken a cube. No? Let us go for the cube by. Let us go for a cube by. Second one we discuss about cube by. Q by. Let's go for Q by. Let me draw the Q by. How the Q by will be? Q by will be made up with the rectangles. And this is Q by and every rectangle will form. So it will be like this. Yes. In the Q by there will be length, breadth, and height. Length, breadth, height will. Be. Then. See, let us find out the lateral surface area, total surface area, and volume of the cube. So, lateral surface area formula is perimeter of the base. The base in the shape of a rectangle. The base in the shape of a rectangle. So, perimeter of rectangle formula two into L plus B, two into L plus B into height. Height is nothing but h. So, the same thing I will write. 2 into s 2h r uh, l plus b 2h r l plus b 2h r l plus b. This is the formula of lateral surface area of the cube. Then what is the total surface area of the cube? It is simple. This lateral surface area 2h r l plus b into area 2 into area of the surface area. 2 into Area of the surface area, area of the rectangle LB, LB. So let us go for that. This 2H into L, 2HL, 2H into B, 2HB, plus 2 into LB, 2LB. Now if I take two as a common factor from this, two if I take common factor, then let me write HL plus HB plus LB will be left. That will write in the sequence. LB plus BH plus HL. LB plus this HB become BH and HL have it in here. Simple. And this is the formula of the total surface area. If you remember these formulas, that's enough. But this is an explanation how we got out those formulas. And let us go for the value of the Q by. Value of the Q by. The value of the Q by here area of the base into height. Area of the base that is L into B. Area of the rectangle that is L into B. That is L B. Okay. L into B suppose. Into height. Height is a H. L into B into L that is L B H. And this is the value of the Q by. So I hope you understood this one. Then in the same way we can find out the area of the cylinder, the curved surface area of the cylinder. And the curved surface area of a cone. That four also will be discussed here. The remaining will be I will write directly formulas. Let's go for the third one. Cylinder. What is this? Is cylinder. So it will be having. Not lateral surface area, it have a curved surface area. It will be have a curved surface area. So the curved surface area formula also same perimeter of the base into height. So perimeter of the base, the base in the shape of a circle here. The base in the shape of a circle. Perimeter of the circle is nothing but circumference of circle. The perimeter of the circle is nothing but circumference of circle. Circumference of circle two pi r, two pi r. That is circumference of the circle. Circumference of circle is 2 pi r. And what is the? Here is a r radius. Here is a r radius, and it is a height. Radius and radius is a height. And see what is the height? That is h. So 2 pi r into h. That is 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h. Where pi is equal to 22 by 7. R not 3.14. Pi equal to R not three point one four. Any one of the value will substitute. Then what is the total surface area? The total surface area is two pi R h 
into two into your end surface area. Two into end surface area. This is here. End surface area is the area of circles. Here both ends are there is the circles. Area of circle formula pi r square. Pi r square. So see here pi r square. No? So here two pi r h into here two pi r square. So in these two things, what is common? In these two, so what? Sorry, it will be placed here. Sorry, here is placed. In these two things, what is the common? That is two pi r. Two pi r. Two pi r is common. So what is left here? H. One H is left here, and one R is left here. That's what. I two pi r. If I take common, then I'll get r plus h in the bracket. Two pi r. Of r plus h, I have written in the standard form. So that is the formula of the total surface area of this cylinder. The volume of this cylinder, volume of this cylinder formula, area of the base into height. Area of the base, the area of the circle is pi r square into h. That is pi r square h. That is pi r square h. And this is the formula of the curved surface area of a cylinder. And total surface area of the cylinder and volume of the cylinder. Next, we we'll go for a cone, and this is important. And you have to learn about this cone. In the cone, we get a one different kind of a word and some more extra formulas. Now go, go for cone. And this is a cone. And Here the base of the cone in the shape of a circle, where it is the radius r, and this is the height of the cone that is h. Okay, now this is a right circular cone. It is a right circular cone and having radius r and height is h. Then what about this? Have you seen the birthday caps? The birthday caps in the shape of a cone. So what? What is the height of the birthday cap from the vertex to the midpoint of the circle? The straight line is known as the height of the cone. Actually, this will be the height of the cone. Yes, it is the height of the cone. Then, what will be called this line? The slant line. The slant line here. What will be called? This is called as a slant height. This is called slant height. The slant height is denoted by L. The slant height is denoted by the L. Remember, the slant height is denoted by L. So, if you observe here, suppose if I give you an A and B and C, it is O here. So, what happens here? Here A O B. You can see here in triangle A O B. In triangle A O B, angle O equal to 90 degrees. So. In triangle AOB, angle O equal to 90 degrees. So to find out the slant height, sometimes see uh, in the case of only cone, sometimes they will give you R value and H value. Sometimes they will give you R value and H value. No? They will ask you to find out the L slant height. This are called as the slant height. Eight a value is two and okay. So suppose we do rice mill or this one or that rice mill or that one. Okay. पैडी वेस्टेज हिपला द हिप आर नाट यू कैन सी दिल द हईट आफ दि हिल विल बी डिफरेंट द स्लांट हईट आफ दि हिल विल बी डिफरेंट लाइट ओके सो द बर्तडे क्या आलो द हईट आफ दि बर्तडे क्या विल बी डिफरेंट स्लांट हईट विल बी डिफरेंट द स्लांट हईट विल बी मोर दैन द हईट आफ दि को स्लांट हईट विल बी मोर दैन द हईट आफ दि को सो हाउ टू फाइंड अवट सपोज इट गिवेन आर वैल्यू एंड एच वैल्यू But they will ask you slant height. What will be the slant height? Or not? Sometimes they will give you h value, l value. They will ask you to find out the r value. Or not? They will give you r value, l value. They will ask you to find out the h. There will be very, very various type lines. So this can be find out by using Pythagoras theorem. In triangle, it is a right angle triangle because ninety degrees. No? By using Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem. 
by using Pythagoras theorem, we can write here. See, in L square equal to square of the hypotenuse equal to sum of the squares of other two squares. H square plus R square. The slant height square is equal to sum of the squares of other two squares. The square will transfer that becomes square root. So L equal to under root of H square plus R square. And this is the formula you need to be remember to find out the L. When R value and H value is given, when the radius of the cone and height of the cone is given, to find out the slant height, this L is known as a slant height. To find out the L value, slant height value, this is the formula under root of H square plus R square. If you know H value and R value, we can find out the slant height. So this is one. R not from this only, from the derivative, from this formula only. See, I need H value, sir. I need H value. What I will do? This R square I will transfer this side. Where H square equal to this H square will be equal to this R square will transfer here L square minus R square. This plus R square become a minus R square. Then where H square value we don't want. We need a H value. H equal to this square will transfer this side that become a L square minus R square. L square minus R square. Finish. Then this is what. Then later we go for. Finding R distance, radius will find. When L and R value is given, when slant height of the cone and the radius of the cone is given, then to find out the height of the cone, this is the formula. H equal to root of L square minus R square. And to find out the radius now, when slant height and height of the cone is given, so R R square, R square equal to L square minus H square. This positive H square will transfer this side that becomes a negative H square. Then the square will transfer this side that becomes a square root. So L square minus H square. Then under root of L square minus H square. And these are the three formulas you need to be remember. See, and these formulas will help us plot to be find out this the cone values actually. The variable whenever you go for the curved surface area, the curved surface area of the cone and the total surface area of the cone, there you will get a word of Slant height L L and a word of L and a slant height of the cone and a word of the cone. L and a find out just some under root of H square plus R square just the L of the cone. So now we go for the finding the formulas of this cone now. Along with these formulas, we have to remember this. So let us go for the you people better it is right uh, the formulas of the cone in that we have to mention this here. If we cone formula, so you mention this cone, please. Important this. This is important. Only in the case of cone it is important. We will get this extra formulas. In other solid figures we won't get any extra formulas like this. To find out the slant height, or height of the cone, or height of the radius of the cone, these three formulas will help us. This procedure, if you write a side separately for the cone, it will be better. Next, directly we go for the formulas. In this way already we have got it. If I explain everything, it takes time. So directly I will write the formulas of the cone. That is, the curved surface area of the cone is pi r l. Pi r l. What is meaning of pi? That is a constant. That is an irrational number. A value is 22 by 7 or 3.14. R is the radius of the cone and l is the slant height of the cone. Where l value is here, where l will be getting by doing h square plus under root of h square plus r square. This is the formula which I have explained to you till now. So, now the total surface area of the cone here 2 pi r of r plus l. Pi r of r plus l. Sorry. Pi r of r plus l. Pi r of r plus l. Yes. Here l is the sense again the slant height of it. Then what is the volume of the cone? The volume of the cone. Here you remember the one thing I will write now. See the cylinder will write here. Remember this thing, please. The cylinder here and cone is here. See. Cylinder is here, cone is here. For especially 9th and 10th class. Volume of the cylinder and volume of the cone. Volume of cylinder is pi r square h. And volume of the cone is third part of this. And the thing to third part. Then it 3 tone divide chai. Then 3 tone divide chai. Pi r square h here 1 by 3 pi r square h. 1 by 3 pi r square h. See. So the volume of cylinder is 
three times more than the volume of cone. That means if you take a cone, if you take a one cylinder again, one cone, the cone you take and a cone you fill up with uh, some materials and pour in the cylinders. If you three times, if you pour with the cone into cylinder, it will be filled up. That means the volume of cylinder is three times more than volume of cone. Or not the volume of cone is third part of volume of cylinder. And the volume of the third part of cylinder divided by three is the volume ninety one day, the volume thirty one. So when we have to divide by three, we get this. But the condition is they should be have same height. They should have same height and same radius. At the same height, same radius, low na cone and cylinder na this cone. If they have same height and same radius of a cylinder and cone, then the volume of cylinder is three times more than volume of cone, or the volume of cone is third part of the volume of cylinder. This you have to remember. So volume of cylinder already we have learned that is pi r square h. Then the volume of cone is one by three pi r square h. One by three pi r square h. Then we go for next. I have completed four now. Let's go for the fifth one and sixth one about the fifth one first about sphere. About sphere. In sphere, we will be having only the diameter d and the radius r. Radius r. So the curved surface area. It will be having curved surface. The curved surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. Your total surface area also will be same. That is 4 pi r square. Here, the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube. And these are the parabolas of the sphere. See, the curved surface area, total surface area will be same in the sphere because there will be no curved. There is no flat surface area. Uh, there is nothing. The curved surface area, total surface area. It has only one surface area. The sphere will be having only one surface area. And see, now we go for heavy sphere. If you cut the sphere into two equal parts, then we get a heavy sphere. This is called heavy sphere. This is radius of the heavy sphere. The radius of the heavy sphere. For the sphere and heavy sphere. For the sphere and hemisphere, if you know the radius, that's the answer. That's the radius. If you know, we can find out the answer. The curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r square. The total surface area of the hemisphere is 3 pi r square. The volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Here, volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Volume of hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r. Cube. That we have to remember, and these are the formulas. Okay, next are two formulas about the prism and pyramid. About the prism and pyramid. Prism. So here seventh one. About prism, uh, two regular polygons. Opposite sides should be two regular polygons, and the lateral surface area should be either parallelograms or rectangles. It's called prisms. Okay, the lateral surface area will be. Uh, Here I am going to take a parallelograms or rectangles. I will not do. So let me see again. See here. One pair of a regular polygon. The opposite, the bases should be a regular polygon. It is a prism. We can draw the square prism also. We can draw a square prisms. We can draw a square prisms. We can draw the rectangular prism. There are different kind of prisms. The opposite polygons. Opposite should be a regular polygons. This should be a regular. This should be a same. Okay, regular polygon is the same. They should have same sides and same uh, same length. Of. All the sides should be equal and all angles should be equal. That is called regular polygons. And the lateral surface areas. The lateral surface areas either they should be in the parallelogram or rectangular. So that is called prism. So. The prism, the curved surface area, sorry, lateral surface area of the prism. 
total surface area of the prism volume of the sphere prism so here there are different kind of prisms no there will be no particular formula for those figure solid figures idi triangular prism gavachu square prism gavachu ipudu nenu triangular prism formulas ichanu ankonde mi question lo square prism adigu unde rectangular prism adigu unde pentagonal prism hexagonal prism ani ichunte aa formulas different ga avuthayi so there will be no particular formulas for the prism and pyramid but we have to remember that these are the main formulas this if you remember that's enough what is the lateral surface area of the prism perimeter of the base into height the perimeter of the base into height that is the lateral surface area of the prism then what is the total surface area of the prism lateral surface area plus 2 into end surface areas and what is the volume of the prism the area of the base into height this is the volume of the prism that you have to know and the same thing you have to write and next one and last one that is eighth one is pyramid so there will be different kind of pyramids sir. triangular pyramid square pyramid rectangular pyramid pentagonal hexagonal heptagonal whatever the base you can write as you wish so let's go for once a square pyramid if square is the base of the pyramid that's called as a square pyramid <coughs> what is the meaning of the pyramid now <coughs> what is called a pyramid pyramid base has a any regular polygon base has a any regular polygon and the remaining lateral surface areas are triangles that is called pyramid base has a any regular polygon and meetha lateral surface areas are triangles lo unda adhe pyramid anta and this all will be having a common vertex at top it has a common vertex it is a square pyramid so there will be different kind of pyramids as we have learned like a triangular pyramid or rectangular pyramid and uh here is a square pyramid pentagonal hexagonal pyramids decagonal pyramids also decagonal means there will be uh, ten sides of a regular polygon will be here and there are ten triangles also will be there so what for what are the formulas of this pyramid so, yes. of the pyramid lateral surface area of the pyramid will be uh, same but uh, there will be little change because for lateral surface area will be having triangles here. so what we do is the same thing here we get 1 by 2 of 1 by 2 half of the perimeter of the base half of the perimeter of the base into height by half of the perimeter of the base into height and the total surface area formula total surface area formula will be like that only the lateral surface area lateral surface area plus there will be no end surface areas so we have only base one base we have the other side also we don't have so here 2 into end surface area will not be there data surface area plus area of the base area of the base area of the base it will be there and what is the volume here volume also we uh, in just before when we gone for there is a cylinder and cone and cone the volume of cylinder pi r square is volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square is. so here in the same way this property will be also applied for the prism and pyramid prism and here pyramid prism and pyramid prism volume is here the prism volume is area of the base into height area of the base into height here a b in the sense area of the base into height so here also area of the base into height but small change here it will be 1 by 3 of area of the base into height so 1 by 3 of area of the base into height let's say cylinder and cone here pi r square is here 1 by 3 pi r square is here area of the base into height that is volume of prism and the volume of pyramid is 1 by 3 of the area of the base into height that means the same things will be applied but this should be have same height and same base here a prism and pyramid should be have same height and same base base and same undali and height kuda same undali appudu pyramid iskochi oka pyramid lo edana nippi adi prism lo postu unte adi three times postina appudu aa prism anedi fill up avutadi okay then the small thing here 1 by 3 of area of the base into height and these are the formulas now i'll write all these formulas now these are the formula children till now what i have explained you on the board 
see here the serial numbers you can see there are eight numbers like a cube and cuboid cylinder cone prism pyramid sphere hemisphere in this way you write the tables that will be in order so that there is a more chance of remembering formulas first cube then cuboid then cylinder cone sphere hemisphere then prism pyramid ee vidhanga rayandi formulas not in the this order okay what i told in that order you have to write it the formulas what i told the everything is here so far so far what i told the everything will be here it is also there in your 10th class test book uh, page number 250 you can also copy from there okay children thank you for watching this video thank you all bye children